Welcome to the Gospel Explosions Word Ministry of Sardis, Georgia. Our location is 811 Sap Street. Our pastor is the Honorable Bishop Willie Jones, Jr. Our service time as it follows Tuesday Bible study at 7.30, Sunday 10 a.m. prayer, 10.15 Sunday school, 11 a.m. morning worship. You are cordially invited to worship with us during our services. Thank you from yours truly, Miranda Pierce of the Gospel of Explosion Word Ministry. Jones from the city of Sardis, Georgia at Gospel Explosion Word Ministry, 811 South Street in the city of Sardis, Georgia, under the direction of our Honorable Bishop Willie Jones, Jr. If you would like to sponsor ministry, you may do so by calling 706-360-4273. Again, that's 706 360 4273. 
and you may ask for information on how to sponsor or to sow a seed towards radio ministries. I bring you greetings again from the Gospel Explosion Word Ministry, 811 South Street in the city of Sarvis, Georgia, under the direction of none other than our Honorable Bishop Willie Jones, Jr. God bless. <laughs> powerful name of Jesus. I bring you greetings from 811 Sap Street in the city of Sardis, Georgia under the direction of none other than our Honorable Bishop Willie Jones Jr. Today our text will be coming from the book of 1 Timothy, the second chapter starting at the 12th and we'll conclude at the 15th verse. That's the book of 1 Timothy, the second chapter starting at the 12th and we'll conclude at the 15th verse. Glory to God. And today the topic is, I suffer not a woman to teach, not to worship authority over the man, but to be in silence. That sentence can be adopted, but it can't be pinned. It can be adopted, but it can't be pinned. The word of God is going to dissect this sentence that was used by the Apostle Paul. First of all, the letter I. I is a person. God is a spirit. It isn't a person that calls you into leadership role to preach and to teach. It is the spirit of God. And if the spirit of God doesn't outlaw it, See, if the Spirit is saying, it will say, God said, I suffer not a woman to teach, not to usher authority over the man, but to be in silence. But it wasn't, it didn't say God said it. It said, I. I is a subject pronoun. And that means it's personally, because it's a person. God ain't a person. He is a spirit. So if the writer was going to write, and said, God said it, then he should have said, God said, I suffered not a woman to teach nor worship authority over the man, but to be in silence. And Paul gave his reason for shutting up the women. Okay? Amen. Glory to God. And we'll get into that a little further. But Paul said it, not the Spirit of God. So it can't be pinned. Okay? The action of the sentence was women wasn't going to preach in his church. Some churches are like that today. They're not going to allow a woman to preach, and that's okay. That's something that they have adopted from, not God, but they adopted from the Apostle Paul. They are not going to hell because that's their rule. And if you're going to stay up under their leadership, you got to follow that rule. It doesn't mean they're going to hell. They adopted that, but they can't pin that on every church because every church don't have that rule, okay? Fine, if that's your rule, but don't you do nobody to hell because that's your rule, not the Spirit of God. The Bible says when we are teachers and preachers, we must rightly divide the word of truth and not just... It's either my way or the highway. It don't work like that, people. What work in your house might not work in mine. Come on. Amen. If you want that, you're not going to hell, and I'm not going to hell. Amen for ministering either. That's the way it works. Now, Facebook have a button that when you want something to be repeatedly seen over and over and over and over again where you push pin. And when you push pin, every time your page is viewed, the first thing they will see was whatever you pin. And this is all over the universe and country now. Women's are not supposed to preach. That's pinned over women's ministry, over women's ministries everywhere. People have their different theories about who they want to listen to, and that's fine. Whoever going to help you go to heaven is fine. 
Because let me tell you something, it's going to be a male or female that help you to get to the heavenly realm because God is not going to come down and do anything. He done been here, done that. He ain't coming back until it's time to rapture us up. So he's going to use the male and the female and it's up to you if they are right to follow that path of what they're teaching. Amen. There's no, um, nothing that's going to be done to them because Ezekiel said when you see the sword and you warn not the people, the blood will be required unto your hand. But now if you're preaching the gospel and you're showing people the way their blood are not going to be required to your hand if they don't want to listen. If they choose not to say, well, I'm not going to listen, well, you can't get mad with them. you got to move to the next house. The Bible said, knock the dust off of your feet and keep going. Amen, glory to God. So that can't be pinned. It can be adopted. And many are adopting that. And that's okay. Let's all of us have peace and make it to our heavenly home. But it cannot be pinned. That's not the word of God. You got to rightly divide the word of truth. This scripture is pinned because everywhere you go, you hear that. And you have to uh, battle and challenge. Uh, you are challenged with that. But guess what? When you know the word of God, you don't battle. When you know the word of God, even though you're challenged with that, you continue on because you know it is the spirit that calls you, not an I. Okay? Amen. Glory to God. Now, some men pastors, I say some men pastors, not all, will adopt the scriptures. And you can, some churches you go in, they have that rule. You're not, if you're a female minister, you're not getting in the pulpit and you're not going to preach in their church. And that's good. That don't mean they ain't saved and sanctified and going where they need to go. But that can't be pinned everywhere. Where you, that's your custom in your church is fine, but you cannot pin that to all other churches. You can't condemn them to hell because they choose to let a woman preach. Or uh, if a woman goes into ministry and established ministry, you cannot pin that. All you can do is worry about your own soul salvation. It can be adopted, but it can't be pinned. Glory to God. Amen. Ushering authority. That word means that a woman is cunning and she's conniving, meaning she take the leadership role by force. And see, this is what they were doing in Paul day. Dumb women was cunning and conniving, and they would take the leadership role by force. In other words, they were dominant women, okay? They was those type women wouldn't take no for an answer. So he had to silence them. We all know all women are not alike. And we cannot put them in a can in the same category. There are just some women that are meek, mild, and humble. And they are able to accept leadership roles. But then there are just some I'm going to do it, and ain't nothing you can do about it. But you can't put all women in that bubble because the Spirit ain't going to let you do it. Glory to God. We're not denying that there are some women that are rambunctious. Come on. They don't believe and listen to a man, period. And this is what type women's Paul had in his church. All they believe is, I'm going to lead you. But I believe it this way, because this is the way it is at my ministry now. I'm going to talk about self, because see, self ain't going to get mad. Self is just going to explain it and keep on moving on. At Gospel Explosion Ministry, I have a leader. His name is Bishop Willie Jones, Jr. He have his pulpit every Sunday. I only teach and preach when I'm assigned to. My job is an evangelist, teacher, and I'm co-pastor, okay? But he is the main leader there. I can only function if he give me assignment to do so. Let's go to co-pastor. Yes, I'm co-pastor, but guess what? I'm only in operation if he's not able to be there at a certain time 
or either he's on a journey doing ministry work, or either, glory to God, he's sick in his body, then I'm going to have to go forth. I'm the co-pastor, meaning I can go and I can run the ship. But that's only if he's not in operation. Now, if he's in operation, I'm not going to do anything but sit on the pew like everybody else. I'm a plain Sunday school teacher. I teach Sunday school. I do not, amen, you take a Sunday, I take a Sunday, it don't work like that in God's explosion. I reach means because it confuses the people. Ain't no you take this and you take that. You got to be a sign and ask to do something. But many women, they are not a sign and ask to do anything. They just take over. They set their husband in the chair. But you see, I'm a study of God's word. I know who the leader is. Paul began to tell the women, it's a shame a man got to tell a woman, God created Adam first and you second. You should know that. Nobody shouldn't have to tell you anything about what God does. You should study God's word and you should know that for yourself. The Bible says we should know the truth and the truth will forever set us free. Ain't nobody got to tell me God made man first. I know this. I'm the helper. Okay? That means I can preach, I can teach because I'm helping in ministry. But not take over. But we got some. And there's another thing. Because your husband is a pastor, that don't mean God gonna call you as a leader. He don't work like that. Now some uh, in some cases, like me, Bishop, this is how it is. Amen. This is how God got it operate. We are a team. He's in ministry. I'm in ministry. But I want to tell you a little something about that. I always talk about me, Bishop, because guess what? I'm not going to get mad. Listen, I was saved way before Bishop was. I was Bishop's teacher. Okay? I was his mentor. Okay, but when he got to the level, but I didn't take on the pastoral over him. I did not usher up authority over him because I'm educated. Amen. Doesn't mean God gonna tell me to run the ship. It don't work like that. So he wasn't saved for five years. Amen. Glory to God. I was in ministry way longer than Bishop. He didn't choose to do that. He didn't, he didn't choose to come over to the Lord at that time. But then when he came in and he humbled himself under, and I began to teach him the Bible and I began to teach him things that he needed to know. And one day he came to me, he said, well, Red, um, we was under other pastoral at this time. He said, well, Red, he said, God is calling me into pastoral. We was already evangelizing all over the place, singing everywhere. And I was preaching then, five years before Bishop even started. Come on now. I'm going to tell you how good God is. I'm going to free some of y'all. Glory to God. Amen. And Bishop, amen, glory to God, came and said, God is calling me into the pastoral field. I said, well, okay. Bishop went to school. And he learned and he got educated what that means. You just can't grab something. You got to be educated in what you are journeying into. And I was no longer a uh, teacher no more. He became my pastor. Glory to God. And until this day, 20 something years later, I'm still in gospel explosion, word ministry. I have a dynamic leader. He leads the church. Now he's not a front liner because he don't like uh, dealing with people, you know, just dealing, you know, that set up holding conversation. That's not bishop, okay? Because he got this policy that you can overtalk, and you find yourself in more mess than anything. So he chooses not to be a front liner like I, now. I'm all over the place. I'm I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Praise the Lord because that's the evangelistic skill in me. I'm a teacher. I have revelation knowledge. I can't refuse from teaching people. So I have to. So I have to be like you see me all the time, but you very seldom see Bishop. But that doesn't mean, baby. He can't lead. I'm telling you something right now. You ain't walking up in the gospel explosion doing nothing 
that he's not led to do. You're not going to even take over in that. He have his pulpit every Sunday. Every Sunday he bring the word. And he would sometimes ask me on second Sunday, uh, Dr. Jones, I would, would like for you to go forth and bring the word. But I'm only getting up when he asks me to. Just abruptly saying, hey, I've got the teaching here. No, mm -mm. I don't need a pulpit. You can give me the grind and I eat it up. Because that's what type of person I'm is. I don't need the showboat. Glory to God. Because whatever God is still in you, you don't have to impress. Just go forth and do it. And that's what type of ministry I'm on. I thank God that I'm free. Bishop is no ways, no wise henpeck. Amen, glory to God. It's best to meet me than Bishop. I'm going to leave that right there. Glory to God. He believe in heaven all the way. Amen, glory to God. Now, ushering authority meaning women taking things by force. And they do do that. They do do that, you know. They're not going to be subject. They feel like they can do it better. Well, I don't. I don't want all of that stress of amen doing this and doing it. No, 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 no. I like what I'm doing. Evangelizing and teaching. Amen. Glory to God. Now, in our conclusion, in the book of Numbers 27 and 18, leadership is a spirit. That is proven. God told Moses, go find a man that have the spirit of leadership upon him. That's how we know that leadership is a spirit. Okay? Amen. So now, you can't go by no I. Don't come before no woman with no I. If God said it in his word, she can find it. I can find it. You can find it. But I ain't going to cut it. It can be adopted, but it can't be pinned. I have taught you today from the book of 1 Timothy, the second chapter, starting at the 12th, concluded at the 15th verse. I is a person. God ain't a person. He's a spirit. So we cannot pin that. That can't be pinned. That's not even documented. There are women leaders everywhere, all over the universe. We just got accepted and believed. And for those of you that have adopted that sentence of, I suffer not a woman to teach, but be quiet, that's in your church. But it's not pinned. And that don't mean you're going to hell. That's just your rules and your custom. You like Paul. But in the end, we must admit, we must admit the Apostle Paul silenced those women, but then he went right back and said, help those women that labors in the gospel. Glory to God. He saw the difference. He had some women that would take over and start up hell in the church. But then he had some laboring women. And he told the men, help them women that labor in the gospel. I'm a woman that labors in the gospel. I take nothing by force. I only go forth if I'm assigned to do so. We love you today. Have a blessed and a wonderful day. I like to say, if you would like to support ministry, the Bible says we have not because we ask not. And when we ask, we don't even believe that what we asking is going to happen. Listen, I have a radio um, broadcast that needs support. Amen, glory to God. I'm an evangelist. You need support in every area because I do a lot of stuff. So if you would like to support, now we're not begging, not, we're not on that, but because before I beg, come on, I'll pay for it myself. <laughs> Glory to God. There is no begging in God. Now, if you would like to sow, amen, you can do so. We're not limited to you to what you sow. If you give a dollar, we find it that. Whatever you give to the kingdom, whatever you is laid on your heart to give to the kingdom, you may do so by dollar sign Loretta Jones 63. That's dollar sign Loretta Jones 63. And it will come up in my first name, May. My name is May. And you may sow your seed. We're not telling you what to do. 
Whatever you give, like I said, if it's a dollar, we'll take it in Jesus' name and go on. Because when you bless ministry, every time that ministry grow, you grow. So if you would like to support ministry, that's dollar sign, Loretta Jones, 63. And it will come up under May Jones. So you'll see that the ministry will continue to travel. Truly, it will get to the radio ministry and it will get to the evangelistic ministry. I do not play with God money. I love you. Have a rich and a productive day. And remember, it can be adopted, but it can't be pinned. Have a blessed and rich day from Gospel Explosion Word Ministry, 811 South Street in the city of Sardis, Georgia. Also, by the way of announcement, December the 26th through the 30th, we will have a dynamic revival. We invite you to come and to fellowship and worship, prepping for 2023. There's a word in the house for you. December the 23rd through, no, December the 26th through the 30th. 811 South Street. There's a word for you. 7.30 nightly. Have a blessed and a productive day. God bless you. Peace.